What's up, guys? Celtics, big win over the Knicks. Uh, chemistry much better these days, isn't it? Just playing together, not bobbled passes, not the hesitation, not really all that not knowing how to play with each other, right? So as I said last year, guys, the Celtics were better with Jalen Brown in the starting lineup than they were with Ter- than they were with Avery Bradley, okay? And it was like 20 games or something, or 19, 20 games. Uh, Jalen Brown even shot 40% from three as a starter. So, you know, NBA, it's a lot. It's uh, it's opportunity opportunity and it's getting an opportunity to be in a position to succeed so everybody looked at Jalen Brown and they said oh he's a combo forward he's a combo forward no he's not a shooting guard he's not a shooting guard he's a combo forward how can he be a shooting guard if he's a combo forward and a big big part of the reason everybody slept on Jalen Brown besides ignoring his 39 percent three-point shooting in high school is because they pigeonholed him as a combo forward even a even a tweener you know they were just totally wrong. And uh, how do you ignore a superstar shooting guard? How do you ignore a potential potential superstar shooting guard who has superior size, strength, and athleticism at the shooting guard position? Well, the same thing happened with Porzingis. Porzingis had an off night tonight, but everyone pigeonholed him as a center. How can he be a power forward if he's seven foot two, seven foot three, right? So Anyway, guys, it's all about opportunity. It's all about getting a chance to succeed. You know, on a lot of teams, Porzingis would never get to play power forward. He'd be stuck as a center, right? Dirk Nowitzki on a on a different team, he would have been stuck at center. They would have been talking about how soft he is, maybe even bringing him off the bench or something crazy. So now this year, Jalen Brown still... Okay, so last year, guys, Jalen Brown Celtics were better with him in the starting lineup at shooting guard than they were with Avery Bradley, and they went on their best run of the season. Avery Bradley comes back. What does is, what is Brad Stevens do? He goes right back to Avery Bradley in the starting lineup. We got killed in a lot of games in the playoffs because Avery Bradley, too small, especially combined with Isaiah Thomas, the smallest backcourt, weakest backcourt, worst defensive backcourt in the NBA. Jalen Brown never, we ne- Brad Stevens never should have looked back from Jalen Brown. Okay, Celtics were on a roll. He was getting better every game. And people didn't even want, even Celtics fans didn't want to realize it. They didn't want to admit it. They wanted to, they wanted to believe that the first few games of Jalen Brown's career was exactly how good he was and that the extreme success he had as a starter for the Celtics and the Celtics team success, that that was all the, all a fluke, that Avery Bradley was still the better player, right? Nobody wanted to believe it. And the fact is, if we wanted to get far in the playoffs last year, we needed, it just, the vision wasn't there by Brad Stevens and maybe Danny Ainge too. We needed Jalen Brown in that starting lineup. We needed to let him continue to get better. And we, we weren't going to win. We were not going to beat Cleveland with Avery Bradley as the starting shooting guard, guys. It was never going to happen. Never going to happen. So, and then even this year, this wasn't supposed to happen, was it, guys? This was supposed to be Gordon Hayward and Kyrie Irving, right? Oh, no, Jalen Brown's not ready. Jason Tatum's not ready. He's just a rookie. Rookies don't do anything. Rookies never do anything. And that mentality is what made people sleep on Jalen Brown last year. Rookies never do anything. So, Jason Tatum, he would be sitting on the bench right now for the most part, especially once Marcus Morris came back healthy, right? With Gordon Hayward in there and Marcus Morris, and everyone would be saying, oh, Jason Tatum's not ready. He's not ready. He's a rookie. Rookies don't do anything. You've still got Jeff Clark on Celtics blog lamenting the fact that we we didn't just draft Markel Fultz and keep Isaiah Thomas, okay? That's how slow people are to adapt. That's how sl- rigid people are in their thinking. Markel Fultz had that number one pick status, which he never deserved, never should have had in the first place. But people grasp onto that, and they just can't let go. It's pathetic. But guys, with Gordon Hayward down, signing Gordon Hayward, something I called a lateral move. What are we seeing, guys? What are we seeing? Fact is, Jalen Brown is playing like an all-star right now. That's a fact. He's averaging about 20 points a game right now. Maybe 18 and a half, 19 points a game, guys with elite defense on top of it, okay? This is an all-star. Now, once he gets voted all-star, or once people finally wrap their heads around how good he is, people will no longer be lamenting and crying for Gordon Hayward and uh, Markel Fultz, right? No longer crying like little babies. So star power is nothing but a reputation, guys. Gordon Hayward, the biggest thing he brought to us was a reputation as a star. But we had crazy talented guys on our team who didn't get an opportunity, Jalen didn't get the full opportunity he deserved last year, like every other top three pick gets. And now we've got Jason Tatum, guys. 
Jason Tatum, 22 points, 9 for 15 shooting, 4 for 6 from 3 guys, 4 rebounds, 4 steals, 2 blocks, 2 assists guys. Absolutely padding that stat sheet with crazy efficiency. So guys, I think I think Jalen Brown, he's our best athlete by far, basically. He's our quickest guy. He's way quicker than Kyrie Irving, infinitely quicker than Gordon Hayward. I think Jalen Brown is basically our star going forward. He's a guy who can get to the rim and draw fouls much better than Kyrie Irving. Although Kyrie Irving did get to the the line nine times tonight. Normally he doesn't get to the line like a superstar. And Jalen Brown really showing that ability to get to the get to the hoop, get those layups right? Layups way better than the long two point jump shots for Avery Bradley, right? Oh, to have a, to have a six foot seven, 230 pound hyper athletic shooting guard guys, superstar shooting guard. Everybody thinks shooting guards should be six foot four, six foot five. Nobody thinks that they can be six foot seven. So unfortunately for Josh Jackson and Phoenix, he's, I think he's a shooting guard too. And he's ultimately stuck on the same team with Devin Booker. So he'll be decent. He'll be good at, at small forward. But another guy, because he's 6'8", people are right off as a shooting guard. No, he's too tall. He's a, he's a, shoot, he's a small forward with power forward potential. Anyway, guys, uh, if you don't think, if you still think Kyrie Irving is clearly our best player, I think uh, it's just a matter of time before you figure out what Jalen Brown brings on defense way better than Kyrie Irving's defense. And offensively, Jalen Brown with his new aggressiveness, guys, getting to the hoop at will, attacking fiercely off the dribble rather than hesitating and all that it's unbelievable so it's just a little sad that he could have been doing more of this last year being developed faster and the only reason he's getting an opportunity this year is because of a fluke freak injury to gordon hayward otherwise we'd be sitting around guys wondering why gordon hayward can't create can't get to the rim and uh takes a little while to create his shots and how most of those shots are mid-range jumpers like avery bradley So thank God these young guys are getting their minutes. And thank God, I don't want to say thank God anyone's injured, but basically thank God Marcus Morris is not playing right now because these guys still would not be getting a chance to shine like this. It's all about opportunity. It's all about luck. And uh, these guys are embracing that opportunity. And now that Celtics fans are starting to wrap their minds around it, we're never going to look back, guys. We're never going to look back. These guys are never hiding behind getting stuck behind playing second fiddle to Gordon Hayward and Marcus Morris and even Kyrie Irving. So what a joy. What a joy. So the team finally gelling. Hopefully Kyrie Irving's attitude stays good. Hopefully he doesn't pout because he's not the big superstar anymore. Okay. He's still, he's still our biggest name. He's still our biggest clutch shooter probably. But, uh, you know, between his defensive shortcomings and his inefficient offense, we, these guys, we have major other options. So, but here's the thing, guys, talking about thinking f- forward and staying flexible, even if Kyrie Irving doesn't s- re-sign with us in two years, we may not even need him, okay? Terry Rozier continues to play rock solid with incredible energy, incredible defense, and as long as he can be fairly efficient in his scoring, his defense and just basic ability, in addition to his superior athleticism to Kyrie Irving, Worst comes to worst, guys. We just match any contract for Terry Rozier, all right? And point guard is the easiest position to fill, so... <sighs> Giving up a number one pick for Kyrie, Op- Kyrie Irving. Uh, well, the Nets aren't even that bad this year, right? So let's be thrilled with Kyrie Irving. Let's be thrilled, I suppose, with Gordon Hayward, even. And uh, even when Gordon Hayward comes back, whenever that is, guys, Jason Tatum playing good enough at power forward that he still fit Gordon Hayward still fits into that starting lineup perfectly as a facilitator in that Al Horford type role right as a secondary point guard on the floor who can hit open shots and who can create his own shot when needed but he's got major competition guys he is no longer Mr. Mr. Big Shot uh I'd rather have the ball in Jalen Brown's hands attacking the rim drawing fouls shooting layups dunking on people than uh watching Gordon Hayward kind of struggle with his uh, mediocre athleticism at best guys let me know what you thought of the game man uh i'm in heaven daniel tice 11 points on six shots uh anyway another dream night guys i'll see you soon peace